What's good? It's your girl back at it again for another video. And this is actually a companion video to one that I did a while back and it is going to be my best vintage finds. Vintage clothing, some accessories, and I wanted to share this because I did a best thrifted finds and that was just more of like a mishmash of clothes whereas this one is specifically vintage or things that I assume to be vintage. When you go vintage shopping it's more so going to be in a specific store dedicated to that or a specific part of a thrift store that's dedicated to just vintage clothing. Oftentimes it's going to be more expensive than regular thrifted clothes although when you go to thrift stores, you can find vintage clothing. You just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta look. So I'm just gonna share clothes and some scarves and things like that. Vintage jewelry, I feel like, is definitely going to be its own video. There's a lot that could be said about that, so I'm just going to separate the two. Otherwise, this is going to be 300 years long. So without further ado, let's begin. So first up, we've got these pants. These are some supremely flared jeans from the 70s. I got these in this really cool vintage store and it's all dedicated to just solely vintage clothing. And the tag on it said that it was from the 70s. And I think this is definitely a distinctive 70s silhouette. Super, super wide flares in the pants bottom. Hopefully you can see it. There's some orange, like light brown stitching throughout that kind of reminds me of that 70s look too. There was a lot of browns, lots of denim. So I really, really, really love these pants. I've only really worn them once just because I find them a little tricky to pair with other tops. I don't necessarily think that this goes with like your average t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like a turtleneck is really cute with this. I did wear it with a turtleneck actually in my autumn lookbook video. I'll link that down below. But it is a bit of a challenge trying to find a top to pair with them. That being said, these are so flattering, very form-fitting, but it's a bit of a tight fit. I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> if you tuck your shirt into these pants, um, it's it's a bit of a tight fit. I love the way that they look. Next up is probably one of my most treasured pieces in my wardrobe and it is this skirt from the 50s. This is like classic. When you think of the 50s, it's this. Those giant poofy tulle skirts. This has a red and white polka dot, well white polka dot on a red background and I, when I saw this skirt, I immediately, immediately grabbed it and it fit me perfectly. I love how bright red it is. The color is just so eye-catching. So as you can see, it has some tool on the bottom and that was a very uh, common thing with skirts in the 50s. They would really like poof out their skirts and you'll see that a lot in dresses too. I absolutely adore the way this looks. It's very comfortable to wear too. Now again, I feel like with this skirt, same with my flared pants, it is a little tricky to pair a top with this just because I'm not exactly sure what would look nice. I think a button up, like a short sleeve button up might look really cute, but I don't really have many tops in my closet that are accustomed to a skirt like this, you know? But either way, I value this so much and I can't wait till it gets warmer so that I can actually wear it because um, <laughs> I'm over this cold. So next up we have this dress. This is a dress from I believe either the late 50s or early 60s and this also has some tool and crinoline at the bottom. Well, tool slash crinoline. These types of materials like tool and wiring throughout really keeps the shape of the item. So it's not baggy, it really fits to the body quite nicely when you have the exact measurements. And it's very flattering, very figure flattering. That was definitely an iconic silhouette in those days. It was all about the figure and, you know, looking all trim, but this is actually the most beautiful 
one of my most beautiful dresses that I own. I, I've said that for like every single piece, but honestly, truly, <laughs> it's the truth. This is a really beautiful color too. I think it goes very well with my hair, red hair, and then the emerald green dress. And if I get a little bit closer, you could see hopefully that there is this lace over top. But it's interesting because it's not like one of those cheap lacy feels. This feels like almost like a thick lace, you know what I mean? And on the inside of the dress, there's this structuring. So it really tucks everything in and creates that figure flattering shape, especially with how the skirt poofs out. But I love the length of it too because it just hits right above the knees, so it's very flattering in that sense as well. And the only shame is that I haven't had a chance to wear this because I don't go to very many fancy occasions, but uh, maybe I can just wear it out and about. Although I feel like this is too precious of a piece to just kind of like la di da di da wear out, you know what I mean? It also has a zip up top at the back. I didn't zip it up all the way, but zip up back, the actual um, straps are sort of elastic. So a very interesting design of this dress. This makes me feel like some sort of elegant ballerina post show where she's going on a dinner with her fellow ballerinas and ballerinos in New York or something like that. Like that's the type of vibe that I'm getting. I know I've said this for every single thing that I've showed, but I'm gonna say it again. This is one of my favorite pieces of clothing in my closet. Though I have not had the opportunity to actually wear it anywhere, I feel like when I wear this dress, I'm a Bond girl, you know? I'm like Marilyn Monroe's uh, reincarnation. <laughs> this is a beautiful velvet dress. And the thing that I love about it is the simplicity. I'm not sure exactly what era this is from, but judging from the velvet and the sort of cut of it, I would assume that it's maybe 80s, um, 80s, 90s. But either way, I feel like the off the shoulder look and the, what is this called, sweetheart neckline is very feminine. This is definitely a dress that I would wear to a fancy occasion. <laughs> Uh, and I, I think that this is one that pairs well with accessories. You can really accessorize with a dress like this. Any dress that has an open chest gives you room to add any kind of pretty necklace to it or some fabulous rings or some extravagant earrings. You can really play that up. It hits mid-thigh, so when you walk it really gives you that bodycon image and I love it. I just feel so gorgeous and glamorous when I wear this dress, especially when I pair it with some nice jewelry. It's just so fancy and you know, I really feel like that bitch. Like if I was going on a dinner with Dita Von Teese, I would perhaps wear this dress. It's just very glamorous. Since we're riding the glamour wagon here, this is a beautiful beaded shawl that I got from a vintage garage and I don't know what era or year it's from. My guess is that it's probably 50s or 80s, one of the two, but it has such beautiful embroidery on it. I don't know how they crafted this because just stitched very delicately and intricately throughout. So the craftsmanship on this is absolutely incredible. It has these tassels at the front. The embroidery on the back kind of looks like a sun. So my eye was instantly drawn to this when I saw it. And this was only $20 I, from what I remember at the vintage garage. And I feel like for something that's this elegant and this stunning, that's a really good deal. Again, I just feel like that wealthy Upper East Side woman when I wear this little shawl in conjunction with my off the shoulder black velvet dress, maybe a red lip, some glossy high heels, like, <laughs> it's just a look. <laughs> this is a dress that's from the 60s, and I really love the way this looks for multiple reasons. I think it's unusual that it's a long sleeve dress. You don't see that very often nowadays, I feel, in this sort of a 
silhouette. It's very structured too. Um, there is no shoulder padding, but it gives you that almost like military type of look, especially with the accents around the neck and then the sleeves too. It just reminds me of that military trimming that suits or like the blazer tops have in uniforms. And it has this, I don't even know what to call this, like stoning. <laughs> this like crystallized stoning throughout it with this little gold detail above it. And when it catches the light, it just sparkles so beautifully. Beyond that, it's this really nice chocolatey brown color. And I think that this is a great autumnal dress to wear. It is very comfortable too. And it also is a mini skirt. So it cuts off really high on the thigh. And I like that. I really wish there were more dresses like this. This is really comfortable to walk around in too. It's not constricting in any sort of way. Just like the very typical 60s silhouettes. You know, lots of movements, short skirts, and I feel like I really lucked out in finding this one. All of the details on it are just so beautiful and truly one of a kind. That's the thing with vintage clothes too. I feel like if you really are trying to define your own sense of style, vintage shopping is the best bet because you will find pieces that nobody else will own, most likely. So that's that on that. <sighs> Y'all, when I tell you that I gagged when I saw this blazer, uh, I gagged <laughs> and I actually found this at a thrift store, not like a specific vintage store, vintage garage, nothing like that, at a thrift store. It was just hanging there by the belts and I think this was $3. And so <laughs> of course I took it and this specifically reminded me of a picture that I saw of Zendaya. She had this pink blazer with this pink, it was like a pink pantsuit. similar sort of detailing with the black around it if I'm remembering correctly and I was like right so I want to be as stylish as Zendaya so I'm going to get this blazer and it came with this skirt it was like a skirt suit set but the skirt just didn't flatter me at all but the blazer on the other hand is very nice I feel like this is Although the shoulder pads are really insane, definitely that 80s silhouette, but this is just so professional. I feel like I'm the CEO of some sort of badass business and I'm walking into my conference room with a cup of coffee in my hand and ready to start the briefing, you know? This baby pink gives me all kinds of life forms. The extraterrestrials are quaking at this baby pink and I think that the detailing on this is very well done too. The black lining really gives it that sharp and sophisticated look. I think that this pairs really nicely with all sorts of pants too. You can wear it with denim and make it more casual. You can wear it with a skirt. You can wear it with professional pants too. You know, it's just very versatile and I think a piece like this can work so well in so many people's wardrobes. So this is a Dior jacket, a Dior little coat that I found at a thrift store and I believe this was two dollars which is insane to me that you can find designer pieces like that for two like <laughs> I'm shook but honestly <laughs> I feel like this is one of the most flattering coats that I found for myself in terms of the color and the silhouette of it too it's very straight down I would say that this is maybe like maybe 70s or 80s, maybe 60s, in terms of like what era it's from. And the buttons on it are really beautiful. They're these wooden uh, cylindrical <laughs> shapes. This is a bit big on me and a lot of vintage clothes, or a lot of the vintage clothes that I have are slightly too big. So vintage clothing is definitely something that you might need to tailor if you find something that you really like but it's too, but it's too big on you. And it has these really well-made pockets too. They fit quite nicely, they're not too bulky. And the color is just absolutely beautiful. It's this really lovely warm caramel color and it's very thin too. So I feel like this is a great either early autumn or late spring sort of jackets. 
And I'm just so happy that I found something like this that's so exquisitely made, but I only paid $2 for it. Like, <laughs> where did they do that at? The last thing in terms of clothing that I'm going to share, I'm not actually going to demonstrate on myself, which is counterintuitive, but this is quite revealing. And um, I'm just going to display it as such and talk about it. And this is a swimsuit. I was magnetized by the swimsuit because of the beautiful bright colors and the flowers. I don't know specifically what year it could be from. Could be 50s, could be even 90s, but I think that this is such a beautiful swimsuit and I did wear this a couple of times in the summer and I just feel like it's so bright and happy. Very nice on the body too. Like it fits very tight and then the cut of it too on the chest is really booby but it's real cute like it's real cute and then it has the cut out in the back just very figure flattering and you could wear this as a bodysuit too just with shorts or pants or whatever and it'll look really nice that way too it has that versatility which i like about it as well and it's quite a thick material too it's not like the swimsuits nowadays that feels kind of like cheapy cheap this is very thick and sturdy and now for a couple of accessories to talk about the first is this 60s hat i think these are called pillar box hats cigar hats I, <laughs> Cigarette hat. I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but they're similar hats to the ones that Jackie O, Jackie Kennedy wore back in the 60s. And I love the color of this hat. This sort of cobalt blue is just very interesting. It's like a beret, but elevated. And it has some pearling throughout it too. Just a very fun hat to wear. I feel like it's a really nice color and it fits the head quite nicely too. I have kind of a big head, not gonna lie. And so <laughs> sometimes finding hats can be a bit of a challenge, but this one fits my head nicely. It's comfy to wear. The only thing is that it's not really secure. So I feel like if it was a windier day, this could definitely fly off of my head, but the detail on it is really cute. And I can't wait for spring and summer to roll around and I can actually wear this in place of like a regular beret or with some blues. I think that this is going to be a really nice piece to pair. These next few things are going to be scarves. I am an avid collector of silk scarves. I love silk scarves. When I go to thrift stores, that's always something that I'm looking at. And so I have a few here that I really wanted to share. I don't know what brand this is. I love the colors in this. I think they, honestly, you know, the, a lot of these scarves are from the 50s and 60s. And I feel like they had the right idea back in the day. Just wearing lots of color, wearing scarves, just like cute accessories to pair with outfits. I feel like you don't really see that that often anymore. These are all really well made, nice quality, and so bright and fun. And you could wear scarves in so many different ways. You can wear them as like a little headband. You can obviously wear them as its intention and as a scarf. Um, you could put this on your handbag as like a little, little thingamajiggy. Like it's just really cute. And I think that if you're wearing something simple, pairing it with a scarf can really just add something extra without being ostentatious about it. You know what I mean? This color combination is really beautiful too with the teal green and then the red and the blue. This is more of a scarf that you can wear as a shawl as well because it's so big. But I really like the colors in this too. The blues are really beautiful and they pair really nicely with the gold. And it's this very silky sort of feel, like slippy silky. I haven't figured out a way to wear this just yet. I feel like maybe I could wear this as like a shawl, comme ça, with like a tank top or something like that in the summer and tie it up front. It could look really nice. I don't know, but this is definitely one of my favorites scarves that I've found. I've also got this one. This is very, very soft silk. I looked up the price of this. I think this is like over a hundred dollars and I found this at a thrift store for just a couple of dollars and I think that that's incredible when you can find something that's worth so much but you pay so little. It just makes it so exciting. <laughs> but it says it's made in Italy and the colors are just so 
rejuvenating. I just feel like a spring flower when I wear this scarf. The light pink with the greens, it's just a color combination that again, I feel like you don't see that often. Maybe I'm not looking at the right places, but also I don't shop fast fashion, so I don't really know where you would find something like this, but just truly something unique. This one is one that I've worn the most often, and it's from Oscar de la Renta. Again, the colors are just so striking. I love red. Red is my favorite color, and paired with purple, and then this sort of mustard yellow. It's just such a beautiful color combination. I've worn this as a headband. I've also worn this as like a little scarf like this. I like how thin it is too. It's very lightweight, so you don't get hot wearing a scarf like this. This scarf is from Givenchy, um, vintage Givenchy scarf. It has that G uh, print all throughout it a navy blue with a hot pink, something that you could pair with a simple outfit and really elevate it. This is a bit of a longer scarf, so this is definitely something that probably would work better in its traditional form. I, again, was shook when I found Givenchy at the thrift store. But this is the thing about vintage shopping, that you can find such expensive designer pieces for only a few dollars, and you really don't have to spend a lot of money to look presentable and to look chic. You know, you have different options on how to accessorize and really develop your own sense of style. This is a scarf that I didn't find myself, but my friend gave me this. This is from the 50s and, okay. Lily of the Valley is my absolute favorite flower. Just so you know, um, jot that down. I absolutely love Lily of the Valley. It just smells so beautiful. It's so smooth, but so delicate. And I truly think it's a wonder of spring. Like, <laughs> at me at the comment section down below, but I think Lily of the Valley is spring's miracle. I love greens, and this one has a really nice sort of uh, grass green with a minty green and all of these beautiful Lily of the Valley flowers. And it's definitely a piece that I feel like is very unique. Now this final scarf I have featured in one of my videos. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is. I think Best Thrifted Finds actually, I did feature this, but this um, big boy is a Gucci scarf. I'm floored every time I look at this scarf because not only is the detail on this absolutely incredible, like the craftsmanship of it, the way, I don't even know how they do this, like how in the gosh darn heck do they manage to paint over a silk scarf like this and get this sort of detailing? Uh, basically, this scarf has a story, it's like medieval story, medieval tale, it's called La Legende, it has writing on here. Uh, if you could tell. The colors are so vivid and so bright, but it genuinely looks like someone sat down, took a little pen and some watercolors and just painted over it. It's incredible. And honestly, I've been like a little bit scared to wear this out just because it's so beautiful. I wouldn't want to ruin something like this, but I'm definitely going to have to bust this out in the spring, summer. And flaunt the beauty of this scarf. So those are all of my vintage finds. I hope you found this video helpful and inspired you to go vintage shopping. Vintage clothes are such treasures. I truly believe that. And you could really find some beautiful things, some designer pieces, and you don't have to break the bank to look good, you know? So I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Ciao.